guys. Let me introduce you to the MobiWire Dakota. This thing is supposed to be a rugged phone, but I got scammed in buying this thing, and I decided it's not even worth returning it, so I decided to come up with a different video idea for it. This was part of a failed video where I was gonna smash a bunch of these rugged phones, but I smashed the Samsung that I was gonna smash because it didn't work in the 2000 subscriber live stream, and I think I smashed that X cover that I bought in that other Samsung live stream, and so this is all I have left, really. I'll do the video later on in time, but for now, I'm just gonna get to destroying this thing. Also, thanks Higgy Nugget for giving me the idea to bring this series back. And now let's get into dropping this thing 100 times. Three, two, one. Wow, this thing scuffs up easily. More scuffs along the bottom, but let's continue. After 50 drops, this thing still looks like a phone, surprisingly, um, in which the iPhone looked very messed up after I dropped it about 50 times. Okay, so actually, after looking at it in the sunlight, there is a faint crack going along the LCD, meaning that LCD would not be functional anymore. And I think it might have happened when it hit this side and made this large dent. Honestly, if you could do without the LCD, you could probably still get by using this as a phone, but... Would you really want to? This thing definitely does scuff up very easily though. Plus the camera's not the greatest at 5 megapixels. I see glass right there. So we're now gonna pick up the Moby wire and see if it broke. Wow. I am shocked. Okay, to be entirely fair, the concrete block didn't exactly give it a fair chance. It also raises the question, why is the glass not tempered glass? If this was my iPhone, if I were to crack the screen, it wouldn't do this. It would just crack. It wouldn't have a bunch of glass falling out of it. Wow, this thing is completely shattered now, and there is now bits of glass missing, and the LCD is cracked. I don't know how well you can see that, but the LCD is done. Um, the keyboard looks to be popping out, but I can't quite tell, and this thing is really scuffed around the edges. Like, this would not be okay to still use, I don't think. 